Well, look what we have here. Hypothetically, this panel suggests siphoning water in a circular motion from and into the same cup, thus creating a perpetual motion machine. Siphoning is not to be confused with capillarity. That is when a liquid rises or falls in a narrow passage because of adhesive and cohesive forces along with surface tension. Unlike capillarity, siphoning doesn't happen on its own but needs to be started, either by sucking the liquid up or by submerging the tube and sealing the other end. Joel from The Last of Us couldn't explain siphoning for a reason because believe it or not, scientists too can't fully wrap their heads around it. Well, hear me out. In older times, it has been theorized that the act of sucking the tube creates a pressure difference with low pressure forming at the highest point. This causes water to flow from high to low point. But since siphons can work in vacuums with no air, therefore no atmospheric pressure, this theory can't be be accurate. A more recent approach takes inspiration from the chain fountain and suggests that gravity is working together with cohesion. It's like the liquid's molecules are chained together by their cohesive forces. So once the water is sucked in, the chain pulls in the rest of the water until the bend in the middle. That is where gravity takes over and finishes the job. But this theory too doesn't fully explain the phenomenon because under certain conditions, siphons can work with liquid that have low cohesive forces. So today's scientists use a combination of the two previous theories to explain siphoning under different circumstances. Now back to our panel. And now that I look at it, this is just a troll version of Boyle's self-flowing flask, which is a thought experiment that is impossible in practice, because a siphon requires its output to be lower than the input, since the whole operation relies on gravity. In this case, the water in the tube will stop at the same level as the water in the flask. That is where it reaches equilibrium. Beyond that point, an external energy source would need to be added to the system to overcome gravity and energy loss. You are free to try it out, but as far as science is concerned, the sum of forces is equal to zero. In other words, it's quieter than a Sunday morning. Designs like these seem to imply that energy could be created from nothing, which would violate the first law of thermodynamics. But I guarantee you that on this channel, we obey the laws of thermodynamics. 